marking it with statue night at the Kaseya Center. Fans walked away not only with a win against the Detroit Pistons, but the chance to hear from Flash himself. Yeah, our Mike Cunio, he's at the Kaseya Center with more on the festive night. Yes, that Dwayne Wade statue was a hot topic on social media, and D. Wade himself said, yes, I have an iPhone. He was aware of all the memes, all the jokes, and he's in on it. He's a good sport, but says that that statue is an artistic version of that moment. It's not meant to look like him, but still a cool moment nonetheless for D. Wade and his family, and it was one that Heat fans were able to take part in yesterday. I talked to some on the street, and they predicted that statue would become a huge attraction, and it did. Wade showed up showed up pregame to take photos outside the arena with some season ticket holders. Then at halftime, a ceremony to honor that new piece of hardware outside the Kaseya Center. And he got a replica sign of Dwayne Wade Boulevard, which of course now runs along the outside of this building, a building he made his home and one he wants Heat Nation to protect. There's not even 15 players that's played this game of basketball to have a statue outside. We, we have a statue outside. For me to be the vessels that's used to be the chosen one, I'm proud of it. I'm proud because we worked very, very, very hard to create an image that will stand for a very long time that expresses what the Miami Heat, my family, and our fan base is about. So don't let nobody talk about our house, because this is our house. They on the outside. Leave them out there. Unfortunately, we did not see Dwayne Wade jump on the score table again, so that statue will just have to serve as a memory for that. I did talk to Heat head coach Eric Spolstra before the game, and he told me that Wade was a guy that really captured your imagination, made you want to watch each and every Heat game, and that's probably why we heard MVP chants during that halftime ceremony last night here at the Kaseya Center. In downtown Miami, Mike Cunio, CBS News, Miami.